I'm Stéphane Letourneau. I'm executive VP in charge of two portfolios, corporate affairs, which includes legal affairs and partnerships. It was just a growth on steroids. So we had one employee in 2018, we now have 70. We had seven profs, we now have 70. We had probably 50 students, we now have more than 700. We didn't have space, we shared offices on campus. We now have 92,000 square feet that we lease. And um, we had a couple of companies, a handful of companies, and now we have uh, more than 80 uh, industry collaborators. The scientific excellence of our professors is recognized worldwide. And they draw to them the best students from everywhere in the world. And those students are a, work, a workforce for research projects and then even a labor force when they graduate. And the, there was a snowball effect, of course, because the, giant, the technological giants were first movers, but then the attention got going and Montreal is just had a snowball effect. As I said, I mean, Montreal got to be an epicenter of AI, drawing talents from everywhere and companies from everywhere. Recently, a company from the Midwest in the States decided, was looking for a place to establish its basis on the Eastern front of, of the Americas. And they chose Toronto for their for their office, but Montreal for their AI laboratory, Mila. So that's that's one, I think, example that speaks volume. And another uh, point, another anecdotal evidence of that is, for instance, Sweden recently decided to establish an antenna here. They will send an employee of their AI Sweden group, which is a, the, um, uh, the group that looks to uh, facilitate the adoption of AI in industry. So I think Mila will not necessarily grow its footprint, but it will certainly uh, improve and augment its impact in specific, in several fields. One for sure is AI and health. Um, we have a lot of professors that have an interest in health already. What needs to be done is to organize them, to uh, add funding to the field, to bring in more companies, and to create really a, a, an ecosystem around AI and health itself. So that's one field of growth in terms of impact and activity. Another one, if we play our cards right, would be environment. So we have uh, excellent professors in the field and it's certainly a field that's dying to draw more advantages from uh, 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 um, machine learning and the entire planet would benefit. So that's certainly something we're looking at. And then finally, I would say assisting, working with SMEs, with applied workshops in uh, machine learning, for instance. There's a lot of um, useful uh, assistance that we can bring to the general uh, economic uh, ecosystem that we haven't, we have shied from doing so far. What makes me proud is the feeling that I'm contributing to building a huge a center of excellence that will be a legacy to future generations.